Well, tonight, we shine a spotlight on the boss of the Workers' Union, Kotu Secretary General Francis Tatuoli, who appears to have been abandoned by other unions on the matter of housing levy and the finance bill 2023. The man who has for years branded himself as the biggest defender of workers' rights and interests has interestingly found himself as an almost lone ranger, pushing for a largely opposed and unpopular finance bill of 2023. This, even as it emerges, that desperate tactics have been activated to quell their raging opposition to the finance bill as officials of several workers' unions in the country are trooping to State House for a meeting with President William Ruto. Brian Mushiri has the details. With last week's Kenya Kwanzaa parliamentary group meeting resulting to an almost sworn guarantee by the lawmakers to pass the proposed finance bill of 2023, and a growing discontentment from the public as shown through open opposition by a host of trade unions, the trade unionist-in-chief is now on the spot. Kotu Secretary General Francis Atuoli has consistently voiced his support for the bill, which some have argued has punitive tax measures. Despite what NTV has learned is the position of Kotu's amalgamated unions. Atwoli's latest push was after a meeting with union officials in Kisumu, in which he again verbalized his support for the finance bill. Sources have, however, told NTV that Atwoli's announcement was not a resolution by the meeting, that in fact, upon seeing that there was open defiance by union officials, the Kotu boss strategically avoided the making of resolutions and there was a push for further consultations. Sourced behind the curtains to convince the union officials to change their position and support the bill was sworn government critic Haman Manyora. Yet despite the meeting, trade unionists have proven publicly to be reading from different scripts. A host of civil servants held protests against the finance bill on Monday, which if passed, will see a compulsory deduction of 3% of their salaries capped at 2,500 shillings and directed towards the housing fund. The bill will also see an extra percentage of pay -E deducted from those earning in excess of 500,000 shillings. The public opposition raising questions on why Kotu and in particular Secretary General Francis Atwoli is going against the voiced position of his affiliate members. So what I'm trying to say is this, that those who failed to attend May Day, where well, the president gave us three hours, without taking even water and so on, just talking to us, standing, explaining that and everybody was satisfied that was on first may in the afternoon at the kenyatta international conference center while the court to boss argues that general secretaries of various unions were in agreement with the bill after having a sit down with president william ruto during a luncheon at the kicc during labor day it is a fact that the meeting was not a consultative one and no official had a chance to engage the head of state only the president spoke at the function and therefore Atwoli is wrong in claiming that there was a consensus on the matter. The proposed bill will soon find its way to the floor of the House in the National Assembly and how the House votes is a matter of wait and see. And just before that happens, State House is determined to make sure as many trade unions have been whipped to support the bill. Sources say that several unions, including NAT and Coupet, have been to State House for talks. None of the officials from the two unions could be reached for a comment. <laughs> On Tuesday, the Secretary General of the Kenya National Union of Nurses, Seth Panyako, told NTV that he was called by President William Ruto and told to leave the UDA party if he cannot support the bill. Panyako announced his resignation as UDA Vice Chair on Saturday. Nilipokea simu kutoka kwa rais mwendo saa moja taka ishirini juma. Akaniambia kwamba wewe unapinga mambo ya housing levy na mambo mengine ambayo inafanya garama ya maisha kwa Kenya kwenda juu. Nikamwambia kwamba uelewe kwamba mimi ni kiongozi wa wafanyakazi na kitu yangu muhimu kabisa ni kusimama na wafanyakazi na wananchi wa kawaida. Nikamuuliza akaniambia kwamba anasukumwa na wengine wakimo wakina malala na wengine kwamba ni kwa nini una kubali Mr. Panyako kuendelea kuwa kiongozi katika chama cha UDA na anapinga miradi ya serikali. Nikamwambia unataka namna gani? Akasema haiwezekani kuendelea namna hiyo. E, inabidi uondoke kwa uongozi wa chama cha UDA. Well, the fallout is real and so is the determination by President William Ruto to see the controversial bill sail through the National Assembly. Brian Mushiri, 
NTV 